Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Yvette Smiley and this is Storytime with Yvette Smiley, Murder and Mystery. This Crime Friday, I will be telling you guys about Britain's youngest double murderers, well known as the Twilight Killers. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and leave a comment on what you think of this tragic story. In the market town of Spalding in southern Lincolnshire, England, Elizabeth lived with her two daughters, Kim and Katie. In 2008, a domestic role led to Elizabeth hitting her eldest daughter before referring herself to social services. Both Kim and Katie were taken into care, but only as a temporary measure. The rift between Elizabeth and Kim continued to grow, however. The central issue was that Kim felt her mother preferred Katie. She grew up feeling she was second best all the time. Kim even threatened to run away, and on one occasion she wrote a suicide note which prompted Elizabeth, her mother, to book an emergency psychiatrist assessment for her daughter, though no one found any signs of mental illness. Kim's relationship with her mother became still more problematic when she turned 13 and started dating Lucas Markham. Like his new girlfriend, Lucas had suffered a difficult upbringing. At the age of four, he was taken into, so into foster care sorry, when his parents' violent relationship led to divorce. He then moved in with his auntie. One year later, his mother died of leukemia, and his relationship with his father was far from ideal, given his heavy drinking habits. At school, Lucas wasn't an intelligent this demonstrating an aptitude, aptitude for mathematics, but he did have anger issues and frequently had fights with other students. When Kim first met Lucas at John Glebe High School, he was throwing a chair across a classroom in a fit of rage. Over the next few months, Kim and Lucas became infatuated with each other, much to Elizabeth's discontent. Given the pair of them had only recently become teenagers, she thought they were too young to be in a sexual relationship. She urged her daughter to break up with Lucas, but this only made things worse. Eventually, Elizabeth barred Lucas from entering the house. In response, the young couple would meet up in the garden instead. Tensions continued to escalate. And in October 2015, Kim and Lucas ran away together. They were found just six days later with a tent inside a nearby woodland before they, re they were returned home to their respective homes. By this time, Lucas started to share Kim's hatred for Elizabeth. He suggested the solution was to kill her. Assuming her boyfriend was joking, Kim replied with a casual, Yeah before realizing he was serious. What began as a twisted fantasy turned into a uh, horrifying reality at, at midnight on April 13, 2016. Having planned what they were going to do beforehand, Kim let Lucas into the house via the bathroom window. He was carrying a bag of kitchen knives. With one of the knives clutched in, in his hand, Lucas walked into Elizabeth's bedroom and found her fast asleep. Lucas then stabbed Elizabeth in the neck, purposefully targeting her voice box so she couldn't cry out. It wasn't a clean kill, however. Lucas and Elizabeth struggled for ten minutes as the, as the former suffocated the latter with a pillow whilst he continued to stab her. Due to the prolonged struggle, Kim went into the room to investigate and watched Lucas murder her own mother. Though Kim had planned to kill her younger sister, she suffered a panic attack due to what she, she just witnessed and told Lucas to commit the second murder as well. He agreed and walked into Katie's bedroom. He killed her the same way he had killed Elizabeth, by stabbing her in the throat and then suffocating her with, with a pillow. She was just 13 years old. 
far from fleeing, feeling remorse about their actions, Kim and Lucas took advantage of the empty house. The teenage couple had a bath together to remove the blood from their bodies. They then had sex in the living room before settling down to watch Twilight and eat ice cream. This strange decision was picked up on, on by the press who called the murderous couple the Twilight Killers, hence their name. Kim and Lucas stayed in the house for the next 36 hours, Willis the bloodied bodies of Elizabeth and Katy, and Katy remained behind closed doors. But Kim and Katy's absence was noticed at school. The police went to investigate and broke into the house. When they found the two teenagers, the officers asked what was going on. Lucas simply replied, Why don't you go and look? Martin Holvey, the, de the detective chief inspector, remarked upon the strangeness of the couple's reactions after the murder. Professor David Wilson, who specializes in criminology, also picked up on this, saying that a complete lack of remorse or empathy was unusual. This is even more noticeable during Kim's interview with the police. She spoke about her troubled history with her mother and said her sister had always been the favorite. Kim also confessed that she had missed her little sister, but thought it was an it was only right she should die because she wouldn't have been able to cope with her mother's death. Kim and Lucas were then tried at Nottingham Crown Court in November 2016. Justice, Justice Haddon Cave handed both teenagers a minimum sentence of 20 years, which was later reduced to 17 and a half years following an appeal the following summer. And that is the sad story of Kim Edwards and Lucas Markham, who became Britain's youngest double murderers, the Twilight Killers. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next Monday right here for another tragic true crime story. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.